So today, guys, we are making minestrone soup, and we're making it with so many good flavors. You're going to love this. It's got layers and layers of flavors, and then we let it cook for like one to two hours, and the flavors just meld together, and we end up with this fantastic, healthy, delicious soup you're going to love. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. All right, let's go over our ingredients. Here we have some fresh uh, kale that I've torn into bite-sized pieces. These are dried mushrooms, porcini mushrooms, that I bought online. I'll leave a link for you down in the description. And uh, you want to reconstitute these because they're dry and we have to uh, soak them in a liquid. I'm using water here and we'll soak them for about 20 minutes. Then we'll pour them through a strainer to drain out the liquid and then you want to rinse them super well because there's a lot of sediment in them. And then they're ready for chopping and you can chop them as fine as you want them. We have some fresh garlic here. I'm using some sweet potatoes. You could use russet potatoes if you prefer. And I chop them up into bite-sized pieces. I did the same thing with the zucchini. I just cut the ends off and I'm just gonna discard the center piece so that I don't have all the seeds in my soup. I have a little bit of pasta here, just some tube style. And we have some diced yellow onion, celery, and carrot. I have some nice herbs going into this, some sage, thyme, and rosemary, and I'm tying it together into a little bundle so it will just infuse into our soup and then I'll remove it. Here we have a little bit of fresh parsley, which I'll chop up, our spice bundle, of course, and some fresh basil, which really adds to the flavor of this soup. We'll need a can of cannellini beans and some Trader Joe's San Marzano peeled tomatoes. They have a great price on these guys. I'm using a Parmigiano-Reggiano rind for this. It has a little bit of a Parmesan section here that I'll grate off, and then the rind is gonna go in the soup, and that's just gonna add some really nice, beautiful flavor. And we're gonna use a combination of beef broth and chicken stock for more flavor. Trader Joe's also had some pancetta already chopped up nice and fine for me, so that worked out perfectly. And of course, we'll need some salt, pepper, and some olive oil. All right, let's get, let's get cooking here. I'm preheating a large frying pan over medium high heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil here and we'll start with our pancetta. We're gonna start cooking that first. And we wanna cook this for between three and five minutes, no more than that. So here we are after five minutes and now we're gonna add the onions, the celery, and the carrots. And then we're gonna hit this with a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm cooking our mirepoix here for about 17 minutes or so. I want those, I want these things to soften up. I want it to, um, you know, get some flavor into it. So that's why we're cooking it for a while. It's been about uh, 16, 17 minutes and this is looking nice. It's cooked down a bit, it's softened up. I'm going to add fresh garlic down, my gar garlic cloves. I have the temperature down to low now. Things are moving along nicely. You can smell your garlic getting fragrant. Layers, this is all about layers of flavor, guys. Now we're gonna add the zucchini. And I have sweet potatoes. You could use regular gold or probably russet would be good as well. So I'm gonna stir that in. And hopefully it's not too much stuff in here and I can put the lid on a little bit to kind of cook things down. And then I'm gonna be transferring this to my stock pot over there. Or you could have cooked the whole thing right in a stock pot if you wanted to. I just didn't do that. I'm going to turn this up a little bit because I dropped the temperature by adding those ingredients. Oh, forgot. Let's add a little salt to this layer. Just a little bit. A little more pepper. Give it one more stir. And then we're going to cover it. I'm gonna let this cook for probably another 15 minutes. So it's been another 15 minutes 
and I'm going to go ahead and just transfer this into my stock pot at this point. It'll just make it easier for me to continue cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding my beef broth and my chicken broth to this. So now I'm going to place the kale in there. This is fresh out of my garden, which I'm really excited about. Okay, I better turn my heat up a little bit, get things moving. And we're also going to add this little group of herbs that we tied together. That means we're just going to take it out at the end. This recipe is definitely customizable, so feel free to sub in and out different ingredients that suit your taste. And now we're going to add our tomato. I put mine in the blender because in my family we don't like chunks of tomato. I'm going to toss in our cheese rind. That's going to add some nice flavor. I did grate it down and we'll just let that uh, infuse its flavors into our soup. Here's the mushrooms that we uh, hydrated and ch I chopped up really fine. Again, it's a texture thing. If, if you don't like the texture of mushrooms, I suggest you dice them up as small as I did. You won't even know they're there, but you're gonna get that great flavor. It's all about flavors. This soup is gonna be amazing. So now I'm gonna add a nice big bunch of chopped up basil. Love basil, it's such a good flavor in this. So depending on how the liquid goes, I may have to add more chicken broth, but we'll see. Like I said, we'll keep the lid on this and hopefully it won't you know, evaporate too much. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to this. I've been adding salt along the way, as you know. We're gonna add just a little more at the end here. And a little more pepper. And then after it simmers for a while, I'll probably taste it again and see if I need to add some more. All right, so we're gonna simmer this for at least an hour. So while our soup is back there simmering away for a good hour to two hours, if you like what you've been seeing so far and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell next to it. That's the notification bell. And that way you'll be the first to know when my new videos come out every week. We've been simmering here for about an, over an hour now. So I'm gonna add the noodles to this and the beans. And so this will be done as soon as the noodles are done. And that shouldn't be more than say 15 minutes tops. I'm gonna add just a touch of salt to this. I think it needs a little bit. And in 15 minutes, we'll be able to serve this up. I'm buttering up some sourdough toast here for my soup. The soup is ready, it's done. Let's serve it up. Just chock full of goodness. Look at that. And then we'll top it with a little Parmigiano Reggiano. All right, and then I will top it with just a little bit of freshly uh, chopped parsley. Give it a little greenery, more greenery. And I'll tell you how it tastes. Wonderful flavors, guys. Very, boy, it's even hard to describe, but I can taste the nuttiness from the Parmigiano Reggiano. Delicious. Uh, you know, you've got the mirepoix, the, you know, the onions, the garlic the celery, the carrots, all those flavors together just keep building and when you simmer it, it is wonderful. Very delicious, hope you give this a try. All right everybody, thanks so much for watching my minestrone soup recipe, I hope you enjoyed it. If you think of someone who might enjoy it as well, please share it with them and if you have any questions or recipe requests for me, leave them down below in the comments. Love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you next time, take care.